Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Church of God by Faith. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, welcome to our ninth day of ten days of national prayer. We thank God for being back before you again. Again, I'm your host for this national prayer call, uh, Minister Cornelius Dunmore Stark, Church of God by Faith, or District, under the leadership of Presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and father in the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District. Thank God for every district, every one every leader, uh, hallelujah, from the pulpit to the parking lot, and even those not a part of the Church of God by faith, those in the body of Christ in the kingdom of God at large, but who are joining us in this call, joining us in the playback. We salute you, and we thank God for you. It's our ninth day of ten days of national prayer. The word of God has been downloaded into our presiding bishop and leadership coming out of Psalms declaring that the beauty of holiness, that is the standard in which we are rallying together around. Listen, the holiness of God. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all, as recorded in First John. But the word of the Lord says, every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. Glory to God. And so we thank God for what he's going to do on this ninth day uh, of this ten days of national prayer. Listen, we've been asked by our national prayer team that we would come together and we would, we would pray for the vision, for the vision of the church. Vision 2020 was rolled out to us years ago, and we understand those five components of Vision 2020. I don't need to re-rehearse them before you now, but how many of you know 2020 is right around the corner? And there are subsequent years that will follow, and so we need to understand and have fresh vision from God and be able to see clearly what it is that God would have for us to do. Proverbs 29 and 18 declares, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Listen, the message translation says it a little different and says that uh, when people don't know what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. When second century doesn't know what God is doing, is not drawing close to God, doesn't understand the word and the will of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. When superintendents, when ruling elders, or even a pastor, even a mother or a teacher, even a greeter at the door of the church, if a greeter doesn't have vision of God and does not understand the person, they're not seeing through the Spirit who it is that's walking up to them, how it is. There might be things they could sense that the Holy Ghost would reveal if they had the vision to see that they need to trust God even to be a greeter. Hallelujah. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Hallelujah. But those that understand what God is doing, they are most blessed. So with that, we want to receive, and I thank God uh, for the, the, uh, our prayer leader this morning, and I'm talking about uh, a very special individual, and that is none other than Minister Patsy White, Palatka District. And so let's receive our prayer leader now. Let's join them, not be a spectator, but let's join them and raise our voices as we stretch our hands to God for vision, not just for 2020, not just the 2020 vision, but vision for beyond. Let's receive Minister Patsy White now in Jesus' name. Good morning. I bring you greetings on Minister White from the district where my um, leader is Super Philip Thomas. And I also bring you greetings from Divine Divine by Faith where my pastor is Pastor Walter Lewis and elect lady Thelma Lewis. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Thank God for a beautiful day. Thank God for everything that God is doing. We are praying this morning, and we will be interceding. Praise God for um, the vision of the church, the vision of 2020 and beyond. 
We ask that all ears are open and all hearts and minds are clear while we go before the throne of glory. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for everything, God, that you have done, the things that you are getting ready to do. We thank you, Lord, you have led us through one century from 2019 as we step over into the 2020. Lord, we are praying right now, Lord, that you will continue to bless our leaders that you will continue to bless our bishop, Lord, continue to bless his board, Lord, continue to look upon all those, O Heavenly Father, that make up, Lord, that precious board of Church of God by faith. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to look upon contenders and pastors and ministers, God, continue to look upon the evangelists, uh, Lord, uh, continue to look upon the God. Be with the century, Lord, this journey. Be with the next gen generation, God, as we make this journey. Lord, we ask you right now in Jesus' name, Lord, that ten, Lord, keep us with a mind of expectancy. Let us, O oh, Heavenly Father, continue to look to you for power and strength, Lord, as our leaders, God, has led us, Lord, right up, Lord, to this point. We ask, God, that you continue to Right now, Lord, we are praying, Father, that you will bless us as it has been said, Lord, in your word in Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. But, Lord, we are praying right now, God, that you will give a prosthetic vision, Lord. Lord, we are praying right now, Lord, that you will give revelation knowledge. Lord, for we know, Lord, that with you, Lord, all things are possible. And, Lord, just like the children, Lord, in the book of First Chronicles 12, chapter, Lord, where Issachar, Lord, the children, which were men that had understanding. I pray right now, Lord, for great understanding in your word, Lord, that we can be able to rightly divide the word of truth. It also said, God, that these men already knew, praise God, what Israel needed. And, Lord, we thank you for men and women of God, Lord, those that know the mission, that know the plan. So, we ask God, that you help us, O Heavenly Father, be able to see, Lord, that we need to redeem the times, that we need to walk circumspectly, that every opportunity of praise and worship, to take every opportunity of purpose, what you have designed for our life. And, God, we are asking you right now, Lord, that you will continue, Lord, to give us a mind, Lord, to seek your faith. Lord, that we will get into our word, and, Lord, we will be able, Lord, to know what the will is for our life. So right now, Lord, we ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you will bless, Lord, and, Lord, as they that are traveling and those that are already there to the assembly, Lord, we ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, to the conference that every word, Lord, whether it comes through song or praise, Lord, whether it comes through dance, God, whatever, Lord, that you do, Lord, let the people, Lord, be able to see your power. Let the people, Lord, be able to see your strength, Lord. Let everyone, Lord, that's there, Lord, come away, Lord, to understand the beauty of holiness, Lord. Know, God, what your vision is for the church. So right now, Lord, we come against anything, Lord, us, Lord. A natural vision, Lord. We all pray for a 2020 vision. We want to have 2020 vision, Lord, so we will be able to see things clearly. We will be able to come everything that we need to know. So right now, God, we pray, God, I pray right now in Jesus' name that all the cataracts of life, Lord, I come against it, Lord. All the glaucoma, Lord, and those glaucoma moments that people are experiencing, Lord, because they don't understand your word. They have no vision, God, of what you require. And all the nearsightedness and all the farsightedness and all the stigmatism, God, we are praying, God, that you will bless us, Lord. Give us the 2020 vision, God, that we can see in you, Lord, what you're 
expect you, Lord, with your power and your strength, God, Lord, that we will be able to century, Lord, that you us into the greatness, Lord. And not only that, God, but, Lord, I ask you right now, Lord, and I pray that the people will see the vision, God. Sometimes, you know, we're expecting things to happen. But just like Jabaz, as he prayed, he asked the Lord to increase his territory. He asked the Lord to increase his border. Lord, I'm asking you right now, God, as you, Lord, begin to move, God, all, Lord, that we have received in 19, Lord, we are looking for greater things, God. For we know, God, that there is so much more, Lord, that you have for us. We know, God, so much, God. Someone already called us humble themselves and pray. It's praying time again as you pray that the Lord, hallelujah, would grant his petition to keep him, praise God, from evil. He prays that the Lord, hallelujah, would give him grief, not pain. And Lord, as we make this journey that also, God, that you will keep your hands upon us, Lord. Lord, we ask for him upon us. We go, Lord, let us be able to see with clarity, God. Let us be able to know, God, that there is more, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, for the spirit of unexpectation. Sometimes, praise God, we pray expecting things to happen. We cannot see the will of God. We cannot know what God desires for us to do. But right now as we pray for the unexpected vision, we pray for mercies and miracles. We pray for signs and wonders. We pray that people will know that you are God and there is no other. I pray right now, Lord, that the people, Lord, will look beyond God. Even, God, as we travel, hallelujah, into, Lord, what you have for us, into your glorious purpose, God, we ask, God, that you will shake the people, God, that they, Lord, while they are at the assembly, God, and the ones that will not even be there, that we will continue to hold up the man of God, hold up the women, Lord, hold up second century, Lord, and next gen, that everyone, Lord, will be able to know God, you are God and what you are. The times are evil. It's time right now, Lord, that we catch a hold to the promise. I pray right now, hallelujah, that, Lord, that you will look, hallelujah, look upon us in 2020, God, and people will put of them will be moved by, hallelujah, by your power. And, God, we are asking you right now, Lord, to continue, Lord, to bless, Lord. Continue, Lord, to keep us, O Heavenly Father, with our prayer for mine. Continue, Lord, to allow us, Lord, as we join together, Lord, because we know, God, as we pray and intercede for this nation, God, Lord, we come against anything that's not of God. But, Lord, and the people, God, as they begin, Lord, to understand the purpose of God and know God's will and know just like the children again of Issachar. You have to know, already understand the purpose. You have to already understand, hallelujah, the will of God. You have to get into the word of God. Someone said, get into God's word and stay there. So you will be ready to take on anything, hallelujah, that the enemy has. We ask, Lord, for a blessing, God, that you will bless right now, God, that you will not only, Lord, bless our people, Lord, Church of God by faith, Lord, incorporated, but we pray for all those that name the name of Jesus. We pray right now, Lord, that, the Lord, that you will bless, Lord, we come, Lord, and we are binding together, Lord, as we pray for our nation, Lord, and the leaders, God, that they, Lord, will turn to you, Lord, that they will turn to you, Lord, for an answer, Lord, for the country, Lord. But, Lord, we as a people of God, Lord, keep us with our understanding. 
Take off the shackles, Lord. Let those, Lord, that are blinded, Lord, by the enemy, Lord, let it fall off right now, God, that they can see your purpose, God, and they know your will, Lord. So I am reminded also of David. Hallelujah. He knew, hallelujah, that was his strength. He knew that God would fight the battle. And we have to know that God is our strength. No, it's a very present help in the time of trouble. We have to know if we trust God. Hallelujah. Trust you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, the answer to the promises of God is yes and amen. That's the answer. The answer to the promises of God is yes and amen. I believe when he said in First Chronicles chapter 12, glory to God, that the children of Issachar were men that had understanding of the times. He said that the children of Issachar were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. That same vision, the same ability to see clearly and understand and know with clarity what should we be doing. Look at our president. Look at our national government. Glory to God. Look at what's happening in the world. Look at our finances and economy in the United States. Glory to God. We need children of Issachar, men that have understanding of the times, to know what Israel and know what we as a church, we as people of God, should be doing. And we believe and trust and we know and we understand that we are those children of Issachar. Glory to God. Not just some men, but I thank God that there are women, hallelujah, in thy faith, that are children, daughters, and mothers of Issachar, women of understanding, women unlike Eve, that you can't come and say, yea, hath God said. Did God say this? Did God mean that? No. We have women of the Word that are rising up, women that know exactly what God has said, that see clearly what the Lord is doing. Second century and next gen, we've got some young Josiahs in this church that you can ask them, what is the Lord saying right now? And they will tell you what thus saith the Lord. Glory to God. We thank God for the vision, for the clarity, for the knowledge, the understanding, not just to carry out and accelerate Vision 2020 as we transition into next year. But as the woman of God said, having 2020 vision, no cataracts, no stigmas, hallelujah, glory to God, able to see exactly what the Lord is saying. We accept the word of the Lord and we agree with the word of God. We thank God for you. Thank God for uh, the distinguished uh, woman of God, a palatka I'm talking about, Minister Patsy White. God bless you. Thank God for you. And we thank God for the word of God. We thank God that, yeah, he did say in uh, Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18 in the message that if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. We are most blessed. We shall walk with clarity. We shall execute the vision and do what God has said. Why? Because we see what he's doing. Well, how do we see? We're looking in the word of God. We're on our knees crying out. We're in the garden of Gethsemane being crushed like olives and watching God perform his wondrous work. We understand exactly what he's doing. He's directing and leading and guiding us because we're moving by the Spirit. Because as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And the Spirit of God only speaks according to the word of God. 
because yeah. because the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he'll teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Why? Because the Spirit of Truth shall lead and guide you in the all truth. He'll testify of me and declare the things that shall come. We give Jesus the glory and honor and praise. Join us tomorrow as we close out on our 10th day, two days of national prayer for this 99th General Assembly. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah. Glory to God.